Hi guys, Frostfangs here and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today I'm going to be doing Fernando on casual because I don't want to I don't want to queue forever. We're going to do Payload as well because why the hell not? It's been a while Fernando. since I played Fernando. I have every character rank 4 now. I used to really dislike Fernando. He used to not suit my playstyle at all, but when I was getting him to rank 4, I had a ton of fun and I'm going to go through his loadout on the skills and everything and explain him like I usually do whilst we queue. So, I've actually got a skill on him as well, which looks awesome because it's all sharp and stuff. I'll explain that as well in a little bit. So we have Flame Lance. His basic attacks are basically a flamethrower, deal 30 a hit. They hit every 0.1 seconds, and it applies a damage over time that affects for 200 damage over 2 seconds. It deals a lot of damage. Even though you might think it doesn't, it really does. Um, it cannot be manually reloaded and instead recharges when not being used. So you can't overheat it. As far as I know, it just depletes, and then it regens over time. You have a shield, which is the thing you see the most and what he's kind of known for. It blocks 8,000 damage, and with the card we've got, it blocks even more. You cannot attack with your shield open. You can charge, though, which deals damage, so that's technically an attack. Um, a card that we've got also makes us that after we charge, we have a shield around us to even get even more health. We have Fireball, which is his Q. It shoots a fireball, deals 450 damage, and reduces healing by 50% for 3 seconds. We have bonus damage. Deal 100% more damage for each consecutive target it hits after the first. So, like, the more people you hit, the more damage you do. And his ultimate, which is the thing that I dislike about him. I still dislike the ultimate. I don't really use it that much unless I'm, like, full health and I want to heal people and I have a heal around. You use it in very specific situations, or at least I do. So, Fernando and all allies within 70 units cannot be brought below 1,500 HP or affected for damage by damage over time for 4 seconds. Very useful in certain scenarios, especially for Payload. For Payload, you can use it very, very effectively, but a lot of the time, you're not really going to use it. Loadout we're rolling with. So the default loadout is actually pretty good. To be honest, I like the default loadout, but the one we rock with is 500 extra on the base health, 2,000 extra on the shield, so we have a 10k shield. We gain a 500 damage shield, like I said, um, for 5 seconds after we use our charge. We have a thing that basically heals us a little bit faster when we're below half health. It's kind of a filler card, and every 1,000 damage your shield takes, it reduces the cooldown of charge. I'm actually going to switch out the maximum health and add onto that one. Oh shit, I can't do it now. It'd be cool if I could hit join match and then hit save, because now I, now I can't do that. That's a shame. Fernando is a must pick. I'm playing casual because if I play competitive, I most likely won't get him, because Fernando is picked nearly all the time in a competitive game, or at least like 80%. He's picked very, very often. This is being recorded on the Monday... Um, and yeah, just to give you guys an idea of when things are recorded, because it gets very confusing very quickly. I'm actually hoping that they don't accept right now, because then I can actually... Okay, I can save my deck now, cool. How long is it going to take? Okay, save and exit, so I don't bother naming it or anything. Um, the skin we're rolling with, I can show you now here, it's this one, it's 125, um, what are they call? are they gems? I can't remember what they're called. I can't remember what they're called. This is my ranking thing. I'm actually gold on Pip, apparently. Cool. Um, oh, what was I going to show you? God damn. What are they? I'm trying to figure out what they're called, and I can't find it. It's really annoying. Uh, store. They're crystals. They're not gems. They're crystals. There we go. I'd just like to thank you guys real quick for the, um, for the, what's it called? God damn, I'm, I'm all over the place today. For, where is it? How do we even find it? I'm trying to find a certain thing right now. Okay. Thank you guys for using the refer code. Even though I don't have a refer code, when you guys have joined the game, you've said that you were, like, told about the game by Frostfangs, and that's given me gems. Like, I got, like, a few crystals from it, so thank you for that, I suppose. I never had a link set up or anything like that, but somehow I've had people, like, create accounts as being referred from me. I don't really know, but thank you to those of you guys that did that. Let's get Fernando rolling. So, that's 125 crystals. I really like it. So that's the default one. As you can see, and this is the onslaught. It's spiky. Yeah, come on, my name's Frostfangs. We gotta go with it. Um, I don't have a helmet because 125 for the onslaught helmet's too much, if you ask me. And I don't have a lance. I really want the um, the, what's it called? The blaze one. It looks great. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's get this one. Let's get the daring flame lance, just because the name is freaking great. Okay, sorted. So we got a rank 10 Cassie, rank 9 Bomb King. Rank 1 Grover and a Rank 3 Barrack against Rank 10 Eevee, Rank 1 Bomb King, Rank 5 Barrack, Rank 3 Grover, and Rank 12 Victor. God damn, that Victor. I don't play Victor that much. I think Victor and Buck are one of the char the two characters that I play the least in this game, to be honest. I love all of them, though. Just like Smite, I couldn't choose a favorite because I play so many different ones. That I kind of just, I kind of just like them all, you know? 
It's hard to explain. We're going on Frostbite Caverns. I can't remember if I played this map recently. I made a Fernando video not too long ago, but that was recorded when I didn't like Fernando. I kind of like him now. He's one of my favorite characters. Um, the reason why is because if I'm just relaxing, and I don't want to have to concentrate loads when I'm playing game. I just pick Fernando. He, look at how badass he looks as well. So let's let's just choose our loadout. And we're going to go with Master Riding. Same thing with Barrack. He's a frontliner. You want to get on the point as soon as possible. Doesn't really make that much of a difference right now because we're defending because I'm playing Payload. But yeah, same sort of thing. Look at how badass we look with those goddamn sharp ends. And the shield looks different too. And the Red Lance. Loving it. So, here we go. I guess I'll just set up. I probably shouldn't have picked it, but I, I probably shouldn't have picked Fernando for this. But then again, Fernando works in like every situation. As you saw, first hit, Dell 450. Second one did 900 because it doubles. Well, it deals an extra 100% after every hit. As you can see, we've even got spikes on the edge of our shields. Oh, it looks great. I do jump when I'm holding my shield out. A lot of people have told me that you shouldn't do that. I still do it because I feel like it helps. It probably doesn't, but there's the Lance. Deals a lot more damage than people always expect. 450. Cool. He's, he's a top tier defender for sure. He's not very good when you're attacking. Um, unless, of course, it's a payload map because then you can jump on it. You know what? Screw it. He is kind of good in attack because you just jump on the payload and hold your shield up for days. You don't actually have to hold it either. You can just right click. You don't have to hold the button down. I do just because force a habit, but you don't have to do that. We are burning this barrack down. My god. Let's dash away. So that gives us a shield. We can block that. Oh, I'm trying to save this barrack. He's low. This barrack is not looking healthy. I'm trying to save his ass here. There's, there's shit everywhere. There's damage coming from all freaking ends right now. The range on the lance isn't very long, but as you can see, the 40 damage over time, pretty good. Setting them on fire is what you want to do, especially for people that don't have lots of health like Victor. Come on, get roasted, dude. We're, we're burning you down. We are burning his ass down. Okay, so you do have to reload, even though it didn't... It, I'm pretty sure it just it said that you didn't have to reload. I'm very confused. Just dash through. Oh, my God. And you can see we're healing a little bit. Um, The reason we're healing is because of that card that gives me heals if I'm under 50%. We died. Okay. We have a lot of health. We have, like, 6k health. Um, I'm probably going to get Veteran. I really like Veteran. Actually, Haven is a must. Please get Haven if you're playing um, a tanky character. It's just kind of a thing you, you do. Um, Haven's a good card. In, in like nearly every situation, Haven can help you. It's a top-notch defensive card. Could technically be overpowered in comparison to the other ones that are defensive, especially considering it only costs 300. It's not an expensive card. Oh my god. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get close enough to get any of these guys here, but it isn't easy. Because you have to get very, very close for that Lance to do anything. We are definitely best just staying on the point. Oh, I'm stunned. I could ult right now, but I feel like it's just going to delay my death. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Okay, shield. Here we go. This isn't looking good. We're not looking very healthy right now. He takes a while to regen his health, so I would recommend Veteran on him. Just because of how much he has. He has 6.7... 6.3k. Um, you get 6.5 if you fully upgrade the card that I had before. Yeah. Before I change the stuff around, then it would be 6.5. Because I made it I made it so he had 375 extra health. And then we get a bit of a bonus on the other card. Wow. See, the more people you hit with that, the more damage you can do. I know I'm playing wrong right now. I know sh I should be on the front line, but I don't want to get that close. I feel like it's just going to screw me over. Because these guys are all fighting at a range. Now, the ult. The reason I don't like this ult is because I feel like it just ends up screwing you over anyway. Most times, it doesn't save you. Most times, if you're in the middle of everything, people just wait till it runs out and then they kill you anyway. Oh my god. You see how many credits we're getting right now for, like, strong defense and shit. It's crazy. Oh, no. She immuned. They're all in the freaking cavern trying to kill us. What? Look at them. That was a raid. Am I a boss? There was, like, four of them in there trying to kill me and the goddamn Grover. And they nailed it. They killed us. Um, you kind of need a healer, though. If you're going to get a phone under your team, healer's kind of a thing you have to get. You should always have a healer anyway, usually. Grover's a top-notch healer. This is just casual, so... I'm not trying my best. It's just a casual game. I can't believe I've got gold on Pip. I didn't even know, so that's why that's surprising to me. Oh my god, I'm just taking damage. I just somehow glitched myself there. What is going on? So as you can see, the the um the cooldown on my charge goes down the more damage I take to my shield. So yeah, that's why I like that card that makes that happen. It's an optional card, which is strange, because it should be a thing by default, to be honest. 
Then again, Fernando's already pretty damn strong, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Oh, the reload. It says up there, the flame lance cannot be manually reloaded. Oh, okay, so it can't be manually reloaded. You do have to reload it if you use all of it, but you can't reload it. Like, So if I'm, if I'm on that much charge, I can't hit R to reload. Okay, I read it wrong. My bad. Oh, no, Eevee. See, that, that tick damage is quite useful. It can put somebody, like, just down if they're nearly dead. Oh, he's low. He's low. Can you not? Dwarf man, stop it. I'll dash you. He's dead. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, he ulted and everything. There, Grover ulted and we still got him. There we go. I'm going to try my best to not hold the right click and, and just tap it because it's a lot easier. My God. I'm just going to hide. Gonna hide. He's a big character. He's easy to hit, just like Ruckus, to be honest. They're both huge. Absolutely bloody massive. Really? It stunned me through the stairs. I didn't expect that to happen, but fine. You can charge in the air as well, which I'm, I literally found out just now. Cool. We're doing a good job of actually being a tank. I feel like we are, at least. You can deal damage. Like, you can deal quite a lot of damage. There we go. We actually got a kill there. Keep shooting it, dude. I just get my charge cooldown reduced. Go on. Keep shooting me. Yeah, that's what I thought. There we go. I think you only actually have to hit them once for it to set the burn on them, which is really cool. Yeah, you do. As soon as you land a little bit, it actually sets the burn off. I thought it took like three or four little ticks. It doesn't. That's that's cool. I'm learning more things about Fernando. As I said, I love playing him. He's a lot of fun. I used to really dislike it, but I, I still don't play him that much because he's picked all the time. I play quite a lot of competitive when I can, and Fernando's usually picked very very quickly so i don't usually get a chance can you can you not i'm just trying to i'm just trying to do my own thing here i'm, I'm contesting the payload oh evie's there oh her immunity ran out just as bomb king's thing blew up oh, i feel bad i've had that happen to me before that's horrible oh see right there victor over there we can't do shit to him because we're a close range tank it's not like grover who's a heat or oh, grover isn't even a tank what am i saying there is a cooldown. Not a cooldown, sorry. A wear out timer. Is that the right way to describe it? You can't just hold your ult. Oh, see, we can counter his ult really hard right now. Guys, uh, there we go. So just in case you didn't know, his ult deals a ton of damage. His... Fe not Fenrir. Freaking... Fernando's ult is very good at countering other people's ults. Like, you can counter Bomb Kings because you can't die. Um, he's... I think actually the main use for his ultimate is to counter other ultimates, which is perfect because you're a tank. So... Yeah, I finally actually explained why his ultimate is useful in some scenarios. It took me long enough. How far are we into the video? Quite far. 12 minutes. It doesn't feel like it's been that long. There we go. So we got the payload. I got 1,600 credits to spend. Okay. We're attacking, so I don't need Master Rider. We, uh, we can pick up Master Rider later. I want Veteran. Wait, what? Oh, I forget. I forget it resets after every round. Damn it. Okay, so... <laughs> You don't save credits. It's payload. What was I thinking? It's it's not like you keep you keep your credits throughout different rounds. As soon as it's over, you've lost your credits. So this is how he's good. You can just you can just set yourself down. Look, they can't do shit. I've got a 10k health shield. My god. But what I was saying was there's a timer, so I can't just hold the shield up forever, as you saw then. It still had health left on it, but I, I can't hold it up for that long. I can hold it up for a longer period of time. It's just not infinite. Is he going to walk in my range? Oh, did we actually... We actually did we get him? I can't tell if we got him. Burning. Oh, get burned. His healing's reduced. I like the way that his lance actually reduces healing. It works very well with the tick damage that you can put on people. Here we go. Love this skin, by the way. The sharp shoulders just looks great. I still haven't taken my shield down. See how freaking tanky he is? Fernando is like a top-tier tank. There we go. Let's hit, hit him with a little bit of a burn. There we go. Because that's 200 damage just from that. So that's why I want to do it. Oh, here we go. He's gone. He's gone. We're savage. What are we right now? 15 and 2. You know what? I'll take that. I will take it. We're savage. So we've had 9 kills, even though it shows 3 again because it resets with the round. Oh, our shield ran out at the perfect time. Just going to keep burning her. <laughs> We're doing really well. So as you can see at the top, they got to 97% with the full timer. They didn't finish it. So we've got to beat that in the 5 minutes 40 that we've got left. We should be able to. The best thing is when people line up and you use your Q and you deal just stupid amounts of damage if you hit like 4 people. It's crazy. And you just sit up here and just take everything. We can just absorb everything. All the bits of damage. There we go. 
The reduced healing, 50% reduced healing is a lot. It's like nearly a second tier cauterize. Cauterize? I think it's cauterize. I'm bad at words, okay? We can even absorb damage from this just by looking at it in the right direction. Cool. I don't feel like I've even taken that much damage so far this round. Get behind me, goddammit. Oh, we nearly killed her. So, like, it's 900 after the second one. On the third one, it's 1,350. And after that, I think it's like, I can't, I can't even do maths right now. I'm too busy defending myself. God damn. I think your Q can also put burning on people. I might be wrong with that, though. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong with that. There we go. Come on, fight me. Eevee, get in range. I've got a flamethrower, a lance flamethrower thing at the ready. I like the way it also gives you vision. That's cool. Because it's because it deals damage, so you can see where they're taking the damage. Are they even going to contest it? Now, we counter Bomb King's ult because we just have to E. Uh, we also counter technically anybody's that deals damage because we can just save everyone. This this really doesn't deal much. I'm an ult. I was trying to save her. Didn't really work. Oh, see, a lot of the time it puts you in a worse situation than you began in. Oh, we hit 1,800. We hit the um, the fourth guy. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. We actually did like a crazy chain. So we hit like, I think that was, they did 1,800 on like the fourth guy or the fifth guy. Fourth guy. Cool. We actually, I'm not even mad that I died. I'm glad that I lined that up. Uh, master running someone to get there as soon as possible. Oh, we still got quite a few credits. Um, I like aggression on, on him, actually. It's a little bit of a damage increase, but we'll wait because I want to get tier 2 ha Haven. Haven's a must pick, to be honest. Haven's good. Any defensive card on Fernando's good. Anything. Just, just be a tank. That's like the only tip I can give you for playing Fernando. Just be a tank. We're going in. Oh my god. I'm in a bad place right now. How am I not dead? How am I still alive? My whole team's back there for some reason. Did I go in like a mile ahead of everyone? I don't know what happened. I must have. Yeah, they were all behind me. I went in way too fast there. My bad. Okay, I can't afford anything yet. I want to get tier 2 Haven. This is still bugged, by the way. This needs to be fixed. That's meant to be on the enemy spawn, but since we started on the defensive side, it still shows the attacking side as, like, a death barrier, like like the old, like a fountain in Smite. That's just a little bug that I'm sure will get fixed eventually, which is straight up just ran past and not even giving a shit. Oh, my God. Okay, shielding time. Team... Okay, I can just, um, literally, I just immune that entire ult. That was great. Oh, that's an enemy one. I thought that was ours. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, he crippled me. I can't dash when I'm crippled. God damn. Stop it. Every okay, everyone's chasing me. Can you guys go push the payload, please? Yeah, we go, Barrack. Go. Kick their ass. Why are you set up here? Why have you set your turrets up? Go. Why, why is nobody pushing the payload? Victor, get off, dude. Come on. We've got two minutes. I have to do this shit now. No. There we go. Kill them. Kill them all. What? I have no idea what's going on. Why is nobody trying to actually deal damage here? I want it all. It's, I just hate the fact that it puts you in such a position to get killed. Like, you have to stand still, practically. It's incredibly frustrating. What are you doing, Barrack? Are you high? Barrack, I don't even know. This game can be so buggy in a funny way, though. Oh, we got him. We got him. That's where their payload was, as you can see the outline there. Oh, kick his ass. Yes, he's gone. She sneezed. Oh, we're good. I think we've won. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Victory. We did it. We did it. I'm really enjoying playing um, Smite. I'm really enjoying playing Paladins and Fernando a lot, to be honest. I'm not usually one for defensive characters. Fernando feels different. Look at the sh Look at the stats. Just look at the stats. I think that says it all. 170k shielding. That's like 17 full shields. Like, we had what? Five minutes of objective time, 10 top kill streak. We had four most solo kills and we had most eliminations. There's the scores. But those of you guys that are interested, we had top kills in our team. We don't really, I don't really feel like we deserve to, to win that considering they have a lot more eliminations than us. But just look at that. I had the most damage on my team other than Sylvanas. Not Sylvanas, that's the guy on top. He's Grover. Got that wrong. Had 168k shielding. Barrack did a lot of shielding too. We overall had a lot more objective time, it looks like it though. What a great game. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. I will see you all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.